What's up guys? Heisman here. So today, I decided not to drink any coffee, any tea, none of that shit. Uh, the truth is, as some of you know, it really does turn me into a dick. So, yeah, life, I mean, it just ain't as energetic without caffeine, right? Especially if you're off it for one day. You've been taking it for like weeks. Um, I just really like to down coffee and tea and all that shit, but I thought maybe I should take a break. Uh, there might be some detrimental effects to it. And as far as I know, it does some weird shit to your veins. Or to your vessels and shit. It, uh, it restricts them, right? So that, that sounds kind of fucked up. But, yeah, nonetheless, today I haven't had any caffeine. And it hasn't been very fun, but it's, it's been a good day, though. Uh, it's been a relaxed day. Where I can just... I could just be, you know what I mean? But, check this out. I just received a new patron. Goes by the name of Coop DeVille. Alright? And he actually... He, he, he has a very generous patronage going on. Yeah, he's, uh, he's one of the top ones in terms of uh, the offer. So, damn. In terms of the amount of monies he gives per month. So thanks for that, man, for your support. Really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I was just wondering. I was like, man, I wonder if I'm going to get a new patron anytime soon. And all of a sudden, boom, just uh, wake up in the morning, check my emails. And uh, yeah, I get a really nice email saying this guy is giving me this generous offer. So thanks, man. And here are my patrons. I uh, decided to make this little, uh, this little thing here. Where, uh, yeah, I, I, I should probably try to do this in most of my videos. So thank you guys for supporting me. Yeah, uh, very flattering how some folks are willing to put some out every month. Um, to donate some out to Iceman. Uh, because I entertain them or whatnot. And they like the Diablo videos. So thank you guys for supporting me. Yeah, uh, I could probably, uh, I could use a little bit of generosity. You see, Iceman ain't exactly the most generous guy, as some of you guys might know. Uh, even in Diablo. Like, I find some nice items, I like to hoard them to myself. I like to save them just in case, I like to trade shit. And I, uh, I don't like to under-trade myself. So yeah, if any of you guys have some advices on uh, what I could do in terms of good deeds and so forth, let me know in the comments below. Because I could, I'm... I'm Probably about due for a good deed or two, all right? So let me know in the comments below what I could do as a good deed. It, it'd probably be good for me, yeah, for my uh, mental well-being and things like that. So thank you guys for supporting me like you do. But yeah, what I have going on here is my sorceress once again. I know I made that single player one. Uh, she got to like level 30-some, but... After that, I just thought of, oh, I should probably take advantage of my current uh, ladder account on Path of Diablo. And maybe try some new things out with the Sorceress. So I got her to level 83 now, Ice Blaze. It's been a really good time. I remember earlier in this ladder, I saw a Sorceress who was godly. And yes, what thy sees, thy coveteth. All right, and that's exactly what I did. Uh, that sork was towed, straight up. And I would like to somewhat mimic that. Uh, I think it would be epic to take this sork to absolute toad status. In terms of damage output, in terms of godly gear. So, in terms of level. Uh, because they keep getting better with age, man. Like, I have all the lightning stuff maxed. But you can add some into warmth. I have six points right now. I'm not quite sure what to do with them just yet. I'll probably put them all into warmth. Is what I'm really leaning toward. Of course, I could start pumping into Thunderstorm. Oh, but I only... Uh, okay, I, I the synergies for it, though, are going to be shit. Because I only put one into Teleport, one into Telekinesis. So I probably won't do that. I'll probably just put them into warmth. But yeah, it's been a damn good time. 
and I would like to get my sword to a higher level of godliness. All right, this is the road to toadness with this sorceress. She's wearing the hoto. She's wearing the shako. Uh, I have a two-sacketed shako on my assassin. I'm going to give her that thing and put a probably just two lightning facets in it, man. And fuck that MF. You know what I mean? I mean, excuse my language, but I mean, it's just 20 former MF. Uh, so I'm going to get that other one and maybe put two lightning facets in that hog. I'm not entirely sure yet. See, I could get a uh, three lightning skills plus one skill amulet if I get the right corruption on this little toad. This one, I believe, uh, didn't receive anything from the corruption nod. Well, yeah, so improvements to make there. Her res aren't even maxed, so I could uh, get some better rings on her. I'm most often using this setup, but of course I have memory on switch, which has been nice for the light immunes. Because as you can see, Lightning Surge in Path of Diablo adds physical damage to your Lightning Surge, which is your basic Lightning skill, not Chain Lightning. Yeah, so it's enough damage to kill the Wraiths in Chaos Sanctuary. It is kind of a pain. You gotta hit him a few good times with it at least at this level, which is pretty high, level 30 with all the synergies. But still, it does the jab. I found this Arak. I don't remember where I got this uh, Magi. Of course, I need to get a 40s and a rim hide with four facets. That would be GG. Mage fist, these nice boots. Found a few goodies uh, just from running a minute ago. Oh, look at that. 33 enhanced damage. Yeah, I got a problem with keeping shit. Um, yeah, I need to have like another mule account. Or I just need to purge a bunch of stuff. Because sometimes I want to experiment. Like with my Amazon or something, and uh, test out enhanced damage versus max damage, and you can pop that little jewel in there uh, to experiment with that some. But here's what I've been up to just a little bit. I've been soloing with this character. Damn, all this stuff is shit. Yeah, I found this uh, just yesterday. 5mf and... Attack rating? 33 attack rating. Pretty high for a small charm. But yeah... Uh, this is what I've been up to, all right? Because I have heard, a legend has it that the Arcane Sanctuary is a pretty good uh, area for rune drops. So I've been running around with Chain Lightning. Does okay damage. Uh, but Charged Volt is actually a good way to go as well. Holy shit. It's actually quite effective right there. But it's, it's, it's difficult to tell which is better. Um, oh, damn. That guy had Conviction. Yeah, so that really wasted my character right there. Uh, this was a breeze. But yeah, that was that was kind of impressive. Well, yeah, I just been storming the uh, Arcane Sanctuary some. Trying to collect some runes. And it's it's been a long, it's been a long journey because I haven't found shit uh, since I started playing this character again just a few days ago. Ran the cow level. Uh, I ran the pit several times. Uh, even more so, I ran the Chaos Sanctuary, a few bell runs. I uh, really haven't found shit. And to, to reach the state of Absolute Toad, she's definitely going to need some Lightning GCs. So, and she doesn't have a single one. I remember I traded a few early on in this ladder. I found two of them, I think. And I traded them both off. I don't even remember uh, what for at this point. But see... With uh, chain lightning, the strategy can just be to sit back and blast him away. Ooh, go grand charm. Let's see what that is. Damn. Yeah, some lightning GCs, and every little point counts. So, yeah, you really feel it when you when you add skills with uh, with the lightning sorceress. This is exactly how I remember it as well. So, yeah, it's impactful, you know, when you get those those lightning GCs, and almost all your skills revolve around that. The only one that she's not, like, often using, that's uh, a non-lightning skill, is uh, Warmth. Which is just fine, because now she has points to waste, and she can start pumping up Warmth. 
But there ain't nothing like a godly light sword. So let me know if you guys uh, have played the light sword before. I remember back in the day, there were several occasions where I kind of figured that this was my favorite build in Diablo 2. This is an absolute godly lightning sword. Of course, I've always been somewhat divided with the Jabazan, and now in Path of Diablo, it's even more difficult because uh, the Bozans are once again viable, as multi-shot isn't nerfed to hell like it used to be. <coughs> and uh, arrows have been added, which really help. <coughs> yeah, so my lightning sword always had a special place. Uh, in my opinion, so yeah, let me know if you guys have experienced much of them. What's good about them, I think, is how you can really go fast if you want. Like it's almost up to the player as to how fast you're killing shit, flying around, how optimal you are. Uh, just how fast lightning kills. It's not like the cold where it takes a moment to kill them, or other characters that can't just teleport like crazy. So, yeah, you can be really optimal with these, and I'm not very familiar with playing this one. As you can see here, I'm quite slow with it. Of course, I'm making a video at the same time, so I'm not 100% devout to, to the gameplay. But, yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of, of wiggle room here, man. Like, I'm going just super slow. But even with that, she's still cruising all right. And you could, you know, go chain, or you could go charge bolt. And of course, once you hit, um, once you get infinity, you're going to be, uh, it's going to be a big game changer. But the problem is you have mana issues with the light sorks. So right now it's actually kind of fun with the Merc and Insight. Not even a maxed out one, 15 meditation. Because uh, you can just kind of teleport around like crazy and not really give a shit. Just cast lightning like a bit out of hell. So once I get infinity, if I do, damn, it's a normal one. Um, I'm going to have to be a bit more careful with how I spend mana. But the good thing is, Charged Bolt is actually uh, pretty low mana. It's 18.5 compared to the 39 of Lightning Surge and the 56 for Chain Lightning. So with infinity, you can go uh, Charged Bolt and it, and it just wastes shit. So it's a good way to go. And you can shotgun effect enemies. And the good thing about the K, uh, the Arcane Sanctuary is how it has these ghosts. And as a lot of you guys might know, ghosts actually have a higher chance of dropping runes because there's a lot of item types that they can't drop. So they're simply... Uh, uh, it's, it's a higher probability that they'll drop a rune. They can drop jewelry and runes, and I, I, I don't think they can drop weapons or armor is where they're limited. So the process of elimination, you know what I mean? Like you can go around and just hunt these wraiths. And the good thing with the light sword is she, she just wastes them. And this is actually a great place for a lightning character. Uh, unfortunately, it's a pain in the ass with the Javazan because of all the little portals you'll have to take if you don't have infinite teleport. Path of Diablo is even more difficult because Enigma now has a, I think it's a three second cooldown in Path of Diablo, the teleport on it. So there, so that gets in the way. Whereas if you go this route, yeah, it's a great place for a lightning sword, uh, especially pre-infinity because I'm just, I don't run into any light immunes outside of these towers and you can just skip them. Or you can let your Merc kill them, but it's really not necessary. Just skip the towers and you'll rarely ever come across the Light Immune. Maybe a unique monster here and there. But yeah, so this would be a great place uh, for Ladder Reset, which some folks are saying it's coming up not too long. And I'll probably be playing Ladder Reset, as I always do with Path of Diablo now. And I'm actually thinking about going Sorceress, and I know folk want to talk shit, and if you want to talk shit, just do it in the comments below. But as you guys know, I normally don't go Sorceress, alright? So it's actually somewhat of a change for me to go Sorceress for Ladder Reset. 
So it actually sounds kind of appealing and exciting because it's going to be something new. All right, I'm not just going the Amazon and just killing cows and doing chaos and finding the runes that way. So I might I might go sorceress, and this is kind of encouraging how easy uh, the arcane sanctuary is with her, without infinity. Granted, she has some nice gear, Odo, Shako, Spirit. Uh, it's pretty easily attainable, Arak. So she's going to be uh, missing out on a lot of skills earlier on in the ladder. But even with that being said, I think she's still going to waste this shit. Now it's going to be a little slower. She's going to be a little bit more cautious. But this would probably be a great place to rune hunt. Um, to my understanding, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I think you can find every rune here. But I'm really not entirely sure. I'm almost... Let me know in the comments if you guys know. This is Hell Mode, Arcane Sanctuary. What's the highest rune that can drop here? Uh, it might be like only bosses can drop them or something like that. Can drop like a burr or even a zod for that matter but i'm not sure i haven't checked the tables uh, i know you can at least get a vex uh, which yeah unfortunately isn't much if you're uh, aiming high but maybe some of the bosses can drop higher but nonetheless i probably won't spend a ton of time here uh, because i usually just go pit just do the pit run uh, do the cow level if you can and yeah it's going to be a bit slower with the light sork i think in the cow level compared to some other character builds but it still can do it just get an insight teleporter like crazy uh, in path of diablo you can actually get an act three merc early on in normal and they can have meditation aura i think it's the defensive act three merc they come with meditation so yeah it's a great way to go um, i think it levels up as they level so i don't think you're going to have like a 17 meditation anytime too soon in terms of your level but at least it's it's something so it's a good way to go yeah just a bunch of shit but yeah i'll be posting more videos on this character more diablo 2 videos coming up i'm probably going to play for a few weeks maybe of Diablo 3 uh, not to say I'm gonna be uh, posting videos on it but I might post a few because the ladder is resetting tomorrow but I just wanted to try to the Crusader because there's finally a viable Fist of the Heavens build but yeah let me know in the comments if you guys want to see maybe just a few Diablo 3 videos and I might do that but yeah nonetheless more Diablo 2 videos to come and uh, as news comes out for Diablo 4, I'll be making vids on that and speculation videos and all that. All right. And what's needed in Diablo 3 videos and all that shit or Diablo 4. So, yeah, like this video, if you will. Uh, again, thank you to my patrons for supporting me. Yeah, really appreciate you guys. So I'll be talking to you all soon. And if you want to become a patron or uh, follow me on Facebook, links are in the description below. Peace with you.